I think our all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives. You yeah, know? Yeah. And I think that's what I sussed when I was 16 and 12, way down the line. But I expressed it differently all through my life. It's the same thing I'm expressing all the time. But now I can put it into that sentence that I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean uh, ends, you know. If, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. You know, but I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. Mm. You know, that's what's insane about it. This video is all about the psychopaths that are behind the scenes pulling the strings, even to people like John Lennon. John Lennon speaking a lot of truth in the beginning of this video. I understand it's very complex in the way they work, using their puppets to tell you truth. No one's going to take a musician seriously. No one's going to take a movie seriously or a TV show seriously so they can leak the truth out as a form of mockery. Now, talking about play on names throughout history when it comes to your fabricated news just like I covered recently with the Columbus Ohio shooting hoax when they use this supposed witness Sidney Fugazi and Fugazi a play on names as something that is fake or false I have it spelled with one Z here of course I have it for with two Z's with their name it's all about the occult of 33 when it comes to Freemasonry. Going back in time a little bit with Christine Leinenen, as in she's lying to you, the supposed mother of one of the victims at the supposed shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida. Again, a play on names. Just like going back in time here as well with the first woman supposedly in space, Sally Ride, like she's taking a ride into space. It's like Bernie Madoff, supposedly made off with your money. You have here as well Anthony Weiner showing off his Weiner. John Bobbitt getting his penis supposedly bobbed off. This guy went on to make adult films. Give me a break. He had his thing cut off and goes on to make pornos. What a complete joke. Then you have Sandy Hook with a supposed goofball corner. Dr. Carver. How nice. A corner named Dr. Carver. Just take a look at this quick clip again of this goofball. Completely ridiculous. What a weirdo. Definitely a lot of strange things happening in this world. Talking about again getting back to this Orlando shooting hoax with Christine Leinenen. Then you have the coroner from Dr. Carver and Sandy Hook. Then with the Orlando shooting hoax, you had Dr. Parrish, as in people are perishing. And then you had Dr. Cheatham. Give me a break. Just another goofball crisis actor. Take a look at his face. I mean, again, complete garbage. Now, you had also Dr. Lube. You know, it's a gay nightclub with next to Angel Cologne. Again, another play on names with next to Dr. Lube. Taking a look here at Boston, the supposed Boston bombing, nothing more than a smoke bomb with Joker Zarnayev, with Joker being Joker, as you can see here. And, and Joker, by the way, just so happens to be 33. Playing with us, toying with us like we're children. SFO plane crash hoax, Captain Something Wong, ho, we too low, holy F, bang ding ow. And again, I said it many times, people fall for the lies that, oh, this was an intern who gave this information out to KTVU. It was all by accident. This wasn't meant to be leaked out. No, they wanted this out. Again, a form of mockery. Let's just take a listen to this actual 
broadcast by KTVU. And then you have this crisis actor child wearing the skull and bones t-shirt. And of course, it's orange for 33. They got to put their fingerprints everywhere for all to see. This is how they do it. As you can see, the skull and bones, you see Bush here. Everything's in plain sight for those have, that have eyes to see. And again, a play on names with this one supposed journalist, more like con artist, Sally Khan. Like she is a con artist, and that's what she is. Take a look at this hideous creature. Look at all the Masonic hand signs. Masonry and Satanism is one and the same. The devil horns. Oh, she's not doing the devil horns. Oh, no. She's not doing the 666 hands. Oh, no, this doesn't mean that. She, she's just saying everything's A-OK. -okay, or She just made a three-point shot. People just have too much pride and too much ego to admit they've been lied to. Not only about some things, but about everything. In this world, if you want to find the truth, you've got to start all over and basically... Forget everything you're taught, and again, start all over. People can't go down that path. It's too far to go. I'm talking about, again, Sally Khan, this Khan artist. What do you see? The Masonic hand sign. You think this is all just a coincidence with all these hand signs? You're definitely a coincidence theorist. Just like with Angela Merkel doing the diamond sign. I pointed out this out many times in the past. She's basically holding the number 33. Right in plain sight with diamond being 33. Of course, the same exact symbol as this order out of chaos sign with the basically upside down pyramid or the diamond. Diamonds and pyramids are one and the same. I've covered that subject before in a previous video. You could check my channel out for that, for that video, specific video. Now here's another play on names. I mentioned this before as well with Candy Crowley. Basically, the occult of Aleister Crowley. And of course, you get your CC for 33 as well. Just like Mr. Crowley with Ozzy Osbourne. It just so happens with Ozzy Osbourne, his name, he was born John Osbourne. The reason for Ozzy Osbourne, you get your cult of 66. All, of course, has to do with Freemasonry, just like I showed so many times with his Grand Sovereign Commander, the Dual 33s. I found this pretty interesting as well with this Hot Wheel dedicated to Ozzy Osbourne. Just take a look at the specific Hot Wheel. Take a look at the make and the model of the car in the year. It's a Dodge Ram 1966. You have your A100. The A is, of course, the first letter in the alphabet. You get your A for one. You get your 11. You get your metal. Metal. Of course, MM for 33. You get your real riders. Again, they love the duality. MM and RR. Just taking a little bit closer look at this. All these concepts are not pulled out of thin air. Everything they do, there is a reason. Mattel. All these big companies are owned and controlled by Masons. Just like everything else in this world. Now talking about Aleister Crowley taking a look at Marvin Bush. And look at the similarities. And why is this? It's Barbara Bush. Basically the daughter of Aleister Crowley. Look at George Bush when he was younger. Look at the resemblance. Definitely a connection. This is the bloodline. They're all related. Now talking about the news. And the psychopaths that own and control this world. They love again a plan names. Look at this. Deer in headlights, Wolf Blitzer. The name Wolf, like wolf in sheep's clothing. And I found this pretty interesting. Take a look at Wolf Blitzer's profile. Supposedly born on March 22nd. Of course, March being the third month of the year, you get your 322. All about skull and bones. Like I showed earlier. And also, he's supposedly born in Germany in Augsburg. So happen Augsburg is 33. So with Wolf Blitzer, you get your, again, 322, and you get your 33. Now taking a look at this one news story going back in time with this tornado in Moore, Oklahoma. And this is nothing more than complete garbage, nothing more than green screen. I'm going to show this video. Again, your news is nothing more than propaganda. They're not going to spend 
precious airtime, which is very expensive, you know, basically covering real news. They'll, they'll cover real news stories. They'll give it a little bit of play. They'll cover it for a few minutes. Then that story goes away. In this case, where a real tornado took place in Moore, Oklahoma, they took this opportunity to spin it. A real tornado, but they're going to push their propaganda. Just take a look at this green screen, complete garbage. And again, the complete pop propaganda with this woman basically pushing atheism. Take a listen. Without a shot of a doubt, filmed in a studio. Brian, he's Brian. Yeah, Brian, you like Brian, huh? That's your yes. dad. <laughs> well, we're happy you're here. Look at this sicko touch his feet. You don't need to touch his kid's feet. Sick freak. You guys did a great job. Yeah. Uh, touch the mic. I guess you got to thank the Lord, right? Yeah. Do you thank the Lord? Do you thank the Lord? Of course. Really trying to get to the subconscious, asking twice. For that split second decision? I, I, I'm, I'm actually an atheist. Oh, you are. All right. <laughs> <laughs> With everything that's taking place here, Supposedly flying wolf blitzer all the way to more Oklahoma with this woman here laughing and smiling with this destruction everywhere in plain sight. Nothing more than an actress. Complete mockery. Again, filmed in a studio, 100% green screen. And of course, they always have their little Easter eggs. Here's with your ball earth all in plain sight. Uh, talking about Easter eggs, truth in movies, lies in the news, also truth in music. They put the truth in plain sight, where it's least expected. This is the world of opposites, the world of duality with Toto, the band Toto, just like the movie The Wizard of Oz and the little dog named Toto. It's all about the O-T-O. -O. This one song I found pretty interesting that was released last year. Like I stated many times, these songs for these lyrics are given to these bands. They don't devise these concepts whatsoever. They're nothing more than solace, nothing more than puppets. With this song, again, the 21st Century Blues. Used to be you could trust what you heard. The channels were three. When the news didn't seem so absurd, the words set you free. And now they tell you what to think and that the sky is green. Am I the only one to see it's a big machine? Someone tell me, how can you believe the world is round? I just can't conceive it. And if you believe... That this band, Toto, came up with these lyrics. Again, you're 100% deceived. It's people behind the scenes, again, pulling the strings. They know millions upon millions of people will be listening to these lyrics. They're not going to leave it up to chance to let these bands create their own songs. It's always about propaganda. Everything is about propaganda when it comes to music, movies, and the news. Okay, Just like this newsman, supposed newsman, nothing more than a paid propagandist, Don Lemon. And again, the play on names. Don Lemon is selling you lemons. And I wonder if Don Lemon even gets the gets the hint of why he was put in that position, why he was propped up. Again, it's the psychopaths behind the scenes, pulling the strings, just laughing their butts off at the dumbed-down sheep that don't see what's taking place. It's a complete joke. This whole world is nothing but a complete joke, again, run by these psychopaths.